Hi everyone, it's Margaret here to share a couple of journals I recently finished. Um, I've been working on these for uh, a few weeks now. I've uh, uh, been busy making up some of the components for these journals. And um, then I took a little break, um, busy time for Christmas, and I'm sure all of you. Um, I have uh, watched so many of your videos, uh, all the beautiful Christmas projects um, on YouTube, and I've, I've loved them all, and I can't believe the creativity um, um, that is out there. It's just incredible. So thanks for sharing those with me. And uh, now I'm back to share a couple of journals that, um, that I just finished. Um, I'll get started. The first one is uh, my corset journal. And um, it's pretty thick. I've had to put a, a tie on this one as I'm finding with all the journals now, um, they are getting bigger and thicker. And um, I'm finding that I have to make the spine a little bit larger so that the um, the journal closes uh, a little bit better. But anyway, um, this is the cover. And as you can see, it's got an image of a beautiful lady with her corset. And I've embellished the picture um, again with a little stuffing to give it a little more dimensional uh, look. And then I have added some little pearls on her corset that look like little, uh, little buttons. And these, um, this trim here was actually from a Battenberg lace um, doily and I uh, coffee stained it just slightly to give it a little bit more vintage look and then I just snipped around and created rows and rows of ruffles from it and that's what I've used actually to um, embellish the, um, the, the photo all the way around. Uh, just layers and layers and layers of this beautiful lace. And then um, underneath it, I've just uh, inserted a little bit of a, a little rose-colored ruffle to add a little bit of interest. And underneath that, we have a, um, a couple of vintage doilies again. And I've used the snippets from the Battenberg Lace um, doily to create this little, uh, uh, this little dangle here. And then I've made um, some rosettes using a little bit of uh, pink and cream colored uh, silk fabric and one in, um, in a lace fabric um, to embellish this picture. And I wanted the cover to be a little bit more simple because the ruffles do all the talking in this journal. So it, there's a lot of detail in the ruffles. All I've done is added a few little um, uh, pinky colored uh, covered buttons and then added this beautiful brooch not brooch, sorry, um, buckle that Va had sent me. I turned this into the, um, as part of the tie for the journal um, and added this beautiful satin ribbon, which becomes the closure for it. Now the spine, um, I've used some crocheted um, flowers and a couple of them are actually um, tea dyed with avocado in the pink and then on top of that I've repeated the same flower using um, its natural color so a little bit of the pink comes through without being uh, um, too pronounced and uh, that's the spine right there. So um, as you can see it's uh, it's got a lot of layering again um, and let's go inside and open the tie to the first page. I don't never get this right, but okay, let's let's give this a try. The first page again is um, a beautiful lady with the corset. And then I've used little um, vintage doilies again. I've snipped them out to um, embellish the picture the same flowers I used on the spine, these little snippets in pink, altering pink and cream um, with the little dangle trim here. And as you can see, I've inserted little pieces of, uh, this is a collar that had the, um, uh, the pearls already on it. And then I've created these uh, rows of the ruffles on either side to give it a symmetrical look. Added a little bit of this um, uh, tassel um, not tassel, a fringe trim here and here. And then just 
layered it with uh, little snippets of flowers on top again to create a more um, layered and uh, uh, dimensional look and you can see the um, the dangles on the bottom there and then in the middle of the flower here I've just used a, a vintage uh, this was an earring with some rhinestone and pretty pearl in the center to embellish that flower and there you can see that page the next page once again it's uh, a vintage lady with her corset and once again I have used pieces of doily to um, embellish the picture just keep layering on top and if you want to use one or two pieces think again double it up if you really want the layered look you've got to use a lot of um, embellishments so if you've got something that you like don't just use one or two try using three or four of the same uh, of the same piece and it'll give you a lot more um, dimension um, this here as you can see I've used some pieces from a uh, ladies blouse a collar and then I've just layered other pieces of uh, snippets from uh, tablecloths and doilies as you can see I made a flower using um, a doily and uh, uh, some flowers from a tablecloth and then I had this uh, beautiful uh, uh, shabby fringe uh, here that I used in the corner and little pieces again of a, of a doily I snipped them out so you can use the doilies in different ways um, it's not so much the actual piece itself, but how you use it. So don't be afraid to cut them up and use the same doily in different various ways. Behind here, I've used some, um, some tinted tool as a little ruffle in the back, and that gives it a really soft, pretty look. I've embellished it with some wedding dress applique, um, slightly um, dyed in um, a very pale, fleshy avocado. Um, with avocado skins rather in a very light light pink and again you can see the layers of of doilies that I've used here the next page once again lady with her corset and this is really pretty um, again I've used the same doily I cut out a little dangle piece and then embellished them with uh, another another piece of um, of uh, little flowers and pearls here, and then I've layered this. I uh, had this really shabby runner, uh, really old looking and tattered, and I've cut out the flowers and used it in this corner and the, on the bottom here. And then what I've done is on certain of the leaves in the corner, I've added little strings of. Um, uh, rhinestone, um, a rhinestone embellishment here with the pearls and that really gives it a beautiful shabby and sparkly sparkly look with the uh, wedding dress applique here and um, all around the picture again you can see I've used this uh, like a braided trim repeated the um, wedding dress applique here and a little bit of rhinestone embellishment on the corner with a little bit of uh, ruffle trim in the corner. And the, um, the uh, tool that was uh, on the previous page also comes through to the second page. I don't know if you can see that, but um, the more, more embellishment you use, the, the more um, dimensional your book will be. And one page really adds to the look of the following page as well. So, um, it, uh, it really gives it a nice a nice feel to it. So that's that page there. Now the following page, oh, the spine here, I just added a little bit of a, a beautiful, uh, this was from a, a collar, a lady's uh, blouse collar. I snipped it out and used it as part of the spine. And then I've created uh, with some ribbon and these old tassels. I kind of made my own tassels by slipping the ribbons through um, just for a little uh, little feature um, in the inside of the spine there. The following page you can see is uh, I've dedicated it to a little corset. Now this is a real real corset and what I did here was I found this pattern for a little miniature corset and um, I wanted to try actually expanding the pattern and then sewing it. I've colored it in pink 
and then uh, it worked out really well. It really looks like a, uh, a real corset. So I've dedicated this page to showing off this beautiful lady's corset. And then I've embellished the corset using various ruffles and trims and little, uh, a little uh, lace uh, binding in the center here with little, uh, little pieces with pearls. And then I've just stuffed it a little bit with tulle to give it a little bit more dimension. Then on the bottom, I've used um, these little rings and uh, added these little dangles to it, little flowers. And then I've um, sewn on some uh, pearl dangles on that to give it a little bit of prettiness. Now, once again, there's a lot of uh, pages in this that um, I've had to hand stitch. Um, I'm getting more and more into the hand stitching because um, I love to use the finer laces and doilies. And if you glue them on, uh, more often than not, you, you see the glue, and I really don't like that. I mean, in a perfect world, you'd love to sew everything, but sometimes it's just not possible. So anyway, that's that page. And as you can see at the bottom again, um, I've added a few more doilies. And uh, this particular doily has a little bit of um, a raised uh, floral trim on it, which is really pretty. And then all around the page, I've snipped out these little flowers and added pearl. And as you can see, that's the corset page right there. The next page is again, once again, a lady with uh, her beautiful corset. And um, using the same Battenberg lace, I did have some left over. I repeated the ruffles on the side, on the, uh, sorry, all around the picture. And then I used this pretty little, uh, little lace trim in, um, in a double row and used these pretty uh, vintage looking uh, pearl trim all around. And I had a little bit more of this, uh, of this little fringe trim, which I really love. It looks silky and satiny. And underneath that, I used, um, I actually got this from a lady's skirt. It was a beautiful pleated uh, skirt. And I snipped it out and used it to uh, accent the bottom of the page here. And uh, it's really pretty. This page is a little simple, but I really like the way it turned out. So that's that page. And finally, the pocket page. Um, what I've done here is I've created a pocket um, using this uh, batted, uh, uh, it was from a pillowcase, and then I used this uh, pretty lace all around, created a pocket, again repeated the, uh, the, lace, uh, the lace binding to mimic a corset, and then used this pretty satin tulip with a little floral embellishment on the top, and as you can see on the bottom, I thought it would be Fun. I had these little um, uh, garter uh, clasps and I um, avo dyed them. In a, it came out a nice pretty fleshy pink. So I thought that would be fun to put it on the bottom of that page right there. And then um, I included a little um, write up about the corset. And again, making these journals, I like to do sometimes a little research on, on what I'm doing. and. It, uh, it's really interesting to read up about uh, how the corset was, uh, was invented and uh, what the poor women had to go through um, to, to be beautiful, uh, which still applies today. But anyway, uh, back then it was, I guess you could say, almost torture to wear these uh, corsets and tight girdles. And Anyway, um, that gives a little bit of the history with a little tassel. And then behind, uh, I just... Uh, it, on a little piece of um, a fabric, I just uh, printed out uh, the word corset, uh, and that's on the uh, back side, and trimmed it all with some pretty lace. And that just fits right back into the pocket, right in there, and there you have it. So the back, I just uh, finished it off with some pretty, uh, pretty doily, and the, as you can see, the lace all around, and then the accent piece on the side covers the, uh, the ribbon tie for the journal. And turn it back around, as you can see. We can uh, tie it back up. And even on the, um, the little ribbon tie, I added a little bit of uh, 
a little bit of prettiness also with some flowers and pearls just to finish it off. So that's my corset journal. I hope you like it. And uh, I'll be back uh, with another video with, uh, with my next journal in just a few moments. So uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.